Hey guys, Mr. B021 here from Flying Toaster Gaming. Back on e Eternal Factions. So, let's get right into it. I, Me and Javante had this idea today that we were going to make a faction. Or, not a faction. We already made a faction. That we were going to make a factions server. Problem is, our budget is dirt. So, if you want us to do something like that and you'd be willing to support it, comment down below. Whoa. Okay. Comment down below either the word factions or no factions. And that's, and whichever we have more of, that's what will help us decide if we're going to do it or not. So, if you got that. So, if you're willing to support that kind of thing, and you'd be willing to play on it for us, play on our server, and help us in every way possible, then just comment factions. If not, then say no factions. It's simple. Either way, it, it either stays the same or we get a new server. So, yeah. But let's get right into it, so... Slash home farm I keep getting TP'd into the ground and yes this is a base that I kinda share with Trico right now cause his other base got raided so he's here and our hidden base got raided which is why this base is here but this is a secretive base that I cannot tell any of you about because it is mainly a farm. The other base will be used, well, actually, it may not be used, well, who knows, I might use it, but, I don't know, you'll have to tell me in the comments, if I claim faction land, does it keep any home that's there, or does it get rid of an, an or, of someone else's slash set home. So does it get rid of their home or does it keep it? Because if it keeps it, then I'm just going to move the base and have everyone TP to me eventually. So, if you guys say it works like that, then, or if you guys say it deletes other people's homes, enemies' homes that aren't in our faction, then I'm just going to keep the old base and claim it as faction territory once we have enough people. Problem is, if I do slash F claim right here, we don't have enough people. So, we need more of you guys in our faction. So if you would like to join, just comment what your username is, and we will let you join as soon as we can get on. Because we kind of prefer to sleep because we go by central time because that's where we are. So, there's... That's pretty much our one request. It has to be during our time zone. You don't have to live in our time zone, but... If we let you on, it's going to be sometime in our time zone that's reasonable. Like, preferably before 9. So, yeah. But the reason I don't have anything in my hotbar, I put it all in here. But I also don't have my god armor or my WD leggings. I don't know what the WD stands for. But, yeah. Javante told me to go to spawn. Or not to spawn, but to PvP. So, I went to PvP. And I hardly moved at all. But it glitched me just like that onto the end stone and made me go flying in. And I got killed instantly as soon as I hit the ground. Because there were like three people from the same faction down there just camping. And as soon as people came in, they would kill them. So yeah, someone got some really good armor out of that. So I think me and Javante are probably going to do the same thing. That we can just double team people and get all their stuff. And then we're just going to run and hide, and then once our 20 seconds is up from the combat log, we can just... Oh, I thought that was XP. 
we can just go back. So, yeah, this is going to be a shorter video, probably. Let's see what all's at, who all's at the PvP slash. Oh, yeah, I might want to take the stuff out of my inventory first. Might be a little smarter. And, yeah, I was, I was recording, but it wasn't working because since I'm using AZ recorder, Sometimes the video is corrupted, so the reason we get so much done off camera is because we actually don't do much off camera. So it it drives me crazy when that happens, but it happens. I don't think it's considered a glitch if you shoot people from out of the PvP area, is it? I don't know, I'll have to try that. I'm not going to take all the arrows, though, just some of them. Cause I don't want to lose them all. Go back into this chest here. Put those arrows back. Put these 16 in my sword right there. But yeah, one second. Let me go slash home. Hidden. And as you can see, I don't have to blur out the coordinates or anything. Sorry, raided. This is from the guy who raided our base. I'm guessing that's where he came in at. It would make sense that that's where he came in. And he got rid of all our stuff. But he did put some of the wheat back in the chest. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, I guess I moved that to the other base. And he put our door back. Which I got rid of the door, which means he was a viewer. Because he never would have known there was a door there unless he had seen the video. And here's some heads that Trico put there when he actually was here. So, yeah. Let me just slash warp PvP slash... Warp PvP. Don't glitch me into the PvP area. Whoa. There's a lot of people here. Cool Kids Club. That guy's just a player. But yeah, don't even come close to this end stone or it'll shoot you. That's like as close as I'm going to get. Because last time it flung me. Hi. But yeah, I get the feeling I'm going to be double teamed. Ruthless, that guy's been here all day. In fact, that's one of the guys that killed me, so I'm betting he's wearing some of my armor. Who was there? Universe Destroyer. And then that's the ruthless guy. Oh, I think that guy just got killed. Nope, that's the ruthless guy right there. And there's another guy underneath me. Yeah, I'm not going to attack anyone because they're double teaming people right now. So, just slash home. And if you're wondering what happened to the other base... Water base, it got raided, so I kind of destroyed it. I got rid of everything in here because we were raided, because down there is where the chest room was. And it's no longer a chest room. But yeah, oh wait, I need to get that quartz. Oh well, I don't have a pickaxe right now. So I'm just going to go slash home farm. Slash home farm. And eventually, I will decorate this base here. But the main thing I'm worried about is, do you guys want us to make a server or not? Because if you do, that could change our plan for everything. So we're going to wait until you guys say if you're willing to support us in that or not. And if you're not, that's totally understandable. And we're a small YouTube channel. Small, but... In my opinion, we're growing fast, pretty fast for a MCPE channel especially, because they don't tend to grow very fast. But for us, we got nine subscribers in two days. My other channels, Mr. B021, I had seven after a year and a half. If that tells you anything about how much faster this is growing than that one. 
and Javante is his groove somewhat fast because everyone in his Call of Duty clan subscribed to him, but no one else did except for me. So, and apparently some of you guys too, because he's been getting subscribers since we made this channel, and so have I, because I went from like 27 to 34, and he went from 24 to 27. So, yeah, I got seven, he got, I forgot, I just forgot what I, how many he had. I think he got like three or four and I got like seven from it. So, you guys should go subscribe to him, and to me preferably as well. But yeah, so if you ever want into our faction, just comment your username and say that you want into our faction. And it must be central, t and we will get on central time at a reasonable time and let you in. So that will be it for today's episode, and I will see you guys there. Bye-bye.